Bartholdi took the initiative to recover the painting and wrote MoMA about the step from his art. He was amazed when District Attorney Robert Morgenthau issued the subpoena Dutus Tecum that prevented the portrait of Wally from being returned to Austria, along with the rest of the Leopold collection. In an interview with David Darcy on NPR, he stated plainly that no Austrian agency had ever, 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 as he put it, contacted him about how to resolve the matter. Privately, he said more than once that he had no idea that his letter to Momar would spark such enormous repercussions, ranging from the late Hubertus Chernin's articles in Der Standard about the fate of looted art in Austria after the war, to the eventual passage of art restitution legislation in Austria, resulting in the return of the Rothschild treasures. He did not live to see Adele's installation at the Neue Galerie here in New York. With support from my mother, my father fought to put the Wally restitution effort on track. This must have been very difficult, not least because going through the Nazi era post-war documents obtained in Austria by our talented and enthusiastic investigator, Dr. Willy Corte, stirred up awful memories about how frightening and difficult life was then. When I brought my father a copy of Agent Goldblatt's federal seizure warrant, he was seated in a wheelchair in his driveway, and he just beamed and shook his head in wonder and disbelief that this was happening, that justice was finally being done. For me, that moving moment exemplifies what this restitution effort is all about. And I warmly thank all of those who helped to make it possible.